So, look at this. All I can say is, what the heck. Yesterday I went in to see my doctor. A normal once a year checkup. No big deal, nothing was wrong. I got my blood drawn and she freaked out when she saw my blood work. I'm sitting in the hospital getting a blood transfusion. I had to get an emergency two units of blood. Yesterday, I went to my doctor's appointment. I had done blood work two weeks before the doctor's appointment, like as usual. Went in and my doctor said, what the heck has happened to you? I'm like, what do you mean? She said, your hemoglobin number is in the toilet. I'm like, I, I don't know what that means. She said, Th this can't be right. There's no way that this is right. If this was your number, you would be white as a ghost. You would have not been able to walk yourself into my office and we would have a real problem. She said, there's no way this is right, Renee. Everything about your blood work, she said, now I don't trust it. Something is wrong. They've given me the wrong person's report. Something's wrong. So she said, you need to go back down to the lab. I'm gonna give you a stat order. They're gonna draw blood. They're gonna redo everything. And then I'm gonna, you go home and I'm gonna call you. So she calls me two hours later and said, this is right. Your hemoglobin is 6.2. You need blood transfusion. So here I am. Let me tell you what I think is going on. And she and I discussed this in detail. And here's our theory. I just turned 50. Over the past like two years, year and a half, and this is probably gonna be uh, TMI for you guys out there, but for the women, you, you get me. Over the past year and a half, two years, when I'm on my period, I have one day that has gotten excessively heavy, which is very unlike me. I have all my life had pretty light periods. I begin pretty heavy bleeding, and it lasts for one day every month. Well, I talked to my doctor about it. I saw my gynecologist last month for my annual checkup, talked to her about it. She said, it's normal. I'm, you know, menopause is on the horizon. That's nothing to freak out about that happens. So we talked about this. So my doctor thinks over the course of the last year and a half or so that every month when I have that heavy bleeding, my body just cannot bounce back. It cannot make enough blood to recoup the blood that I lost. And so it's found me in this huge blood depletion. I'm getting two units of blood today, which will bring me up to like an eight hemoglobin number. And then I'm gonna go back to her office in two weeks, have my blood tested again, make sure everything stayed up. And then she explained it to me that once my hemoglobin gets above eight, that number will like kickstart my body and allow it to start making its own blood again. If I understood everything she said correctly, this all happened so fast yesterday. Such a whirlwind. I don't know that I even truly understand what went on. My body should have enough blood now to like kickstart it. It should be producing its own blood and get me back up to my normal levels. She's gonna retest me in three months, see what my number is, and then we will go from there. So our theory is, it is my period. Apparently, this is super common. I, I've ne I didn't know this, but everybody that I've talked to last night, all the nurses here in the lab where I'm getting the blood transfusion, when I told them, they, they, all, they all said, why are you here? Why is your hemoglobin low? You look fine. And I told them, and they're like, yep, yep, happens all the time. Yep, you're, this is not uncommon. So I can get up and move around. See, I'm dragging this thing behind me. I can go to the restroom, but I have been in this little cubicle. It has a recliner and it's heated. So when the blood started going in today, the blood has been in a refrigerator. It is cold, it made me cold. I'm freezing, so I've had to turn on the heated recliner, which has been super nice. They brought me a heated blanket. I have my arm on a pillow, and I've just been kind of hanging in the seat all day. Other than getting up to stretch or go to the bathroom or eat my lunch, my booty's been in this heated recliner. I've been just playing on my phone. I brought my laptop and I've been playing my favorite video game. But otherwise, I've just been sitting in this little room. Look, it's all gone. They're flushing the line to get all the blood in there. 
and then I get to go home. Seven and a half hours later, I'm going home and they, the people told me my little wristband where they typed and cross matched my blood with, I don't know, all these antibodies and things. They told me, don't take that off. Go home, get on my chart, which is like our online medical history thing here where I live that our hospitals use. I have to see that my hemoglobin number is greater than an eight or else the doctor could call me back and I'm gonna have to get more blood and then they would have to redo everything they did today. Well y'all, I'm home. I mean, what the hey? Since my husband and I have turned 50, he has had kidney stones, he's had a heart attack. I've now had to have a blood transfusion and I didn't even tell y'all this, but earlier in the year, I hurt my back. Like I pinched a nerve or something and I was just couldn't even move for like six weeks. So far, Getting older has sucked, y'all. I'm going to be honest. But okay, let's just, let me just tell you what happened yesterday and today. But before I do that, today's video is sponsored by Ava's Manor. For six hours today, sitting in the hospital, while I was hooked up getting a blood transfusion, I was on my phone like this, I was playing Ava's Manor. Ava's Manor is free to download using my link below. Ava's Manor follows the story of a gal named Ava Mendez whose life is suddenly turned upside down when her long lost uncle disappears and he leaves her his huge sprawling estate. So you follow a trail of clues to uncover the truth behind what happened to her uncle. So along the way, you get to decorate the castle, you get to renovate the castle, you kind of get to make it your own, but watch out because people and clues are hiding in the dark. And there is solitaire. Y'all remember old school solitaire back in the day? Well, you get to play solitaire and you earn stars, which are used to progress the story and renovate the manor. You get to express your style, play games, have fun, decorate the house, the gardens, personalize every room exactly how you want to. It's fun for anyone to play. It's a great way to kind of tease your brain with puzzles that are challenging enough for you to stay sharp, but not impossible or overwhelming. And for me, it completely kept me entertained while I sat in my heated recliner at the hospital for six hours getting a blood transfusion. Again, I wanna say thank you to Ava's Manor for sponsoring today's video. Ava's Manor is free to download using my link below. Okay, so let me tell you what happened. I got home, logged onto my MyChart account, saw my hemoglobin number from when they tested me after I got the blood, and y'all, it was a nine. They thought it would be an eight. I was actually at a nine. Whoop, whoop, for a nine. So I can actually now take this little bracelet off because I don't have to go back and get any more blood. Once my period started getting heavier and the bleeding has increased over time, I have noticed a lot of things happening to my body. I kept a list of them on my phone. I explained them to my doctor, but that was when the weight gain started. Like just being tired, wasn't tired all the time. It wasn't a common everyday thing. It was just random days. Like it actually happened three days ago. It was a Monday and I just thought, I have got to sit down and lay my head down. Like I cannot make it through the day. And those feelings of fatigue, I was getting them a little bit more often, which was odd, very odd for me. I'm a, y'all know me, I'm a get up early, go getter. Yesterday before my doctor's appointment, I went out at seven in the morning and walked three miles. Like, but there were just some days that I was exhausted. I attributed that to my age, I'm getting older. I am on my feet a lot at the ice cream shop. I have, y'all don't even know this, back up. Two years ago, I did a whole video telling you all I was sick. Turned out I had something called strep pneumonia. It was a bacteria settled in my throat and it affected my thyroid. You can go back and look at that video and you can see my thyroid was swelled up. Um, I had my blood work. My thyroid was all out of whack from the strep pneumonia. They gave me medicine, antibiotics. It, it made everything fine. My, my thyroid went back down to its normal size and I was fine. Well, 
this year, in the past six, seven, eight, nine months, I have noticed that my thyroid is swelling back up. So when I went to talk to my doctor today, I was going to talk to her about my thyroid. I assumed that all of these things were happening because my thyroid was out of whack again. But I have never in my entire life had thyroid issues. It was just all because of the strep pneumonia. But my test results twice show that my thyroid is completely fine. It is functioning completely normal. However, it is a little swelled up. So next week, I'm going for a um, an, an ultrasound of my thyroid because she thinks she could feel a little nodule on there. And it is, it is a little swelled up. I can see it, but I'm going to get that resolved. But my thyroid is functioning properly. Another symptom, something that has been happening. My feet hurt all the time. My feet my ankles and my calves. It's like they're just tensed up. Like I can't, I can't stretch them. When I go out on my walk, my calves hurt. But y'all, I'm on my feet all day long. I'm moving, I'm going, but at my ice cream shop, I work, you know, six hour shifts. I'm always on my feet. I never get to sit down. So when I get home from the ice cream shop, yes, my feet hurt. And so I just thought, okay, that's because I'm always on my feet. But apparently that is another symptom of low blood. You're not getting oxygen to the, your extremities. And apparently that's a thing. I did notice this week, and I even said to Randy, from my knees down this week have been a weird tingly feeling. Just a weird, just a weird tingling. And I even on Monday night put my feet in one of those little bubbly feet thingies with Epsom salt and just soak my feet because my feet would not stop hurting. So this is all making sense now that it is my hemoglobin and my doctor has me taking iron. I'm taking 325 milligrams of iron and hopefully just boosting everything back up. So y'all, I'm tired. I am, my face is super red. I don't understand why because throughout the day today, they took my blood pressure, they took my temperature, they did my oxygen, like all of these tests, like every hour or something. But since I've been home, my face is, I'm very flushed and I'm hot, but my house is not hot. I think I'm just, I'm just worked up. Everybody's telling me tomorrow when the blood like takes effect that I'll be feeling much better. So one of the nurses kind of laughed and said, you know, Renee, you probably feel a lot worse than you actually realize that you do feel. It's just the loss of blood has happened so gradually over time, over the course of a year, that every time the level dropped, I just sort of adjusted to the feeling of being tired and kind of sluggish and like all of these things. But I just kept on going. So it wasn't like there was a drastic moment when it all dropped. Because it happened gradually, I just suggested and, and here I am. When the doctor called me yesterday and we start talking about this, I just, honestly, I had no idea this could even happen. I mean, I want to know from you, all of my women viewers out there, is this common? Has this happened to you? Please comment below and tell me your story. Let me know because I honestly have not ever spoken to anybody that has lost so much blood during their periods that it has depleted their body of blood and they've had to have a blood transfusion. Like, like seriously, somebody tell me if this is a real thing. I would love to just get more information about this. Of course, if I Google it, I find all, I find all kinds of things, which I really don't like to Google things. I learn way more than I want to know, and a lot of it is inaccurate or bad, and it's just information I probably don't need. So I would love to hear from you, because I know out of the thousands of women that follow my YouTube channel, surely this has happened to somebody. I'm hoping this does make me feel better. I'll know in the morning or in the next day or two, and I'll keep you posted. So it's been a long day. I am tired. I want dinner. I just want to chill out. I want to sit here with my doggies. And uh, Maxie is right here. Pollux is right here. And I will see you later.